Good day, good day, ladies and gents. I hope we are all good. Welcome to the Candlestick Trading Bible Decoding. I'm sure today's session will be the last session as we round up the book. So let's see how many pages we can go through. So we're starting off on page 162. All right, let's get into it. Money Management Strategies. Now you have the strategies, you know how to analyze the market, you know when to buy, when to sell, when to exit, and you also know when to stay away from the market. This is important for you as a trader to know, but you are still missing the key to the castle, the money management plan. The most important thing that traders don't talk about is the money management. This is what makes a difference between successful traders and losers. If you trade without a money management plan, you're just wasting your time and money because nothing is going to work for you, even if you have the most powerful trading system in the world. Most traders focus on how to enter the market. They spend months and years looking for the right system. I don't want you to think like them. You should think differently if you want to become a successful trader. Money management, position sizing. One of the most important components of money management is position sizing. What I mean by position sizing is the number of lots you are risking per trade. All Forex brokers now offer many lots as the default position size. The small, smallest value of a mini lot is approximately $1. There are Forex brokers that offer 10 cents for a mini lot, which represents an opportunity for traders who don't have bigger accounts. They can begin with $250 and they still have a chance to grow it. When it comes to position sizing, you should think in terms of dollars instead of pips. Let's say you're trading three mini lots on uh, CAD USD. This means that uh, you bought or sold 30,000 worth of US dollars. Okay, this might get a bit confusing, but let's just continue with the book. Let's see what the author says. Then I'll try to elaborate it in my own understanding. If the market moves in your favor, you will win an amount of money equal to $3 per pip. If you make 20 pips, you would have profited $60. Let's break it down. One standard lot is worth about $10 per pip, and one mini lot is worth about $1 per pip, and one micro lot is equal to $0.10. Cents. If you open a mini trading account, you should think in terms of dollars risked instead of pips. Let's say you put a 50 stop loss in 100 pips as a profit target. This means that if the market hits your stop loss, you lose 50 pips, which is $50. And if the market hits a profit target, you win $100. The size of your position depends on whether you have a standard or a mini account and how many, how many lots you are trading. This information is important to you because it will help you know, much, know how much money you are risking. Okay, so before we continue here, let me just see if what the author is saying uh, is all right. So 0 0.01 lot size uh, times 10 pips. This is like on Euro USD, right? These are approximate numbers. Okay, so don't take my figures is the exit was these are approximate numbers. Then we've got 0 0.10 lot size times 10. Then one lot size times 10. So let me see if I've got my numbers correct. If one lot size times 10 pips, I wanna figure out if it's the one giving a hundred. I think that's it, uh, 0 0.10 gives 10. And this gives one, yeah. So this, I think this is the right example. So if you are trading, let's say Euro USD for example, and your risk is 10 pips, and you're using 0 0.10 load size, just know with this load size, your target or your loss will be a dollar. If you're using 0 0.10 as a load size times 10, that means your risk is $10. And if you are using the one lot size, one standard lot size times 10 pips, your risk is 100. I, I think I got those numbers correct, but this is on average. 
uh, the figures will differ by a few cents depending on the pair you trade also, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll confirm this uh, before we end this book. Okay, so continuing a risk to reward ratio. The risk to reward ratio concept is what makes you a winner in the long run. Before you enter any trade, you have to know how much money you will win in, if the market goes in your favor and how much money you will lose if the market goes against you. Don't ever trade, don't ever enter a trade which the profit is less than the amount of the money you risk. If you risk $100, for example, your profit target should be at least $200. This is a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 2. Let's suppose that you took 10 trades with 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio. In every trade, you risk $100. You won 5 trades and you lost 5 trades. So you will lose $500, but you will win $1,000. So the benefit is $500. This is the power of risk to reward ratio. You shouldn't think that you have to win all your trades to become a successful trader. If you can take advantage of this, of the risk to reward ratio, you will always be profitable. The importance of a stop loss. All good methodologies use stops. A protective stop loss is an order to exit a long or short position when the price moves, moves against you to a specified price. The stop loss ensures against a usually large loss and has to be used in one way or another. An initial stop loss can be placed with the order on the trading platform Okay, let me repeat. An initial stop loss can be placed with your order on the trading platform. The trade will be closed automatically when if the stop loss is hit. This type of stop loss will allow you to execute your trade and go spend your time with your family or friends. This will help you to trade out of your emotion because you know how much you how much money you will lose if the market doesn't go in your direction. A lot of traders use mental stops when they enter a trade. They don't place a stop loss because they think that the broker will hit their stop loss, which is not true. The reason behind using mental stop is the human psychology. Humans hate to lose money. If you don't accept losing money as part of the game, you never make money in the market. So this is also one thing you need to note. Don't never think of using mental stops because you can't control the market. You can't be sure that the market will do this or do that. Before you enter a trade, calculate how much you may win, how much you may lose, place your stop loss order and your profit target and forget about your trade. Don't ever risk money that you can't afford to lose. I repeat, do not ever risk money that you cannot afford to lose. Do not ever risk money that you cannot afford to lose. I got a lot of questions from traders asking me about how much money they need to start trading. First of all, you have to take trading as a business. You can make money in this business and you can lose it all as well. The amount of money that you need to start trading depends on the amount of money that you can afford to lose. Don't ever borrow money or risk big amounts of money that you can't afford to lose. Because trading is all about emotions. If you trade and you are afraid to lose your trading account, you will fail in this business. Because you will be controlled by your emotion and this will affect your trading decisions. You will not be able to follow your trading strategy and you will certainly fail. The best thing to do is to start small. Try to get as much experience as you can and build slowly your trading account. This is how successful traders become successful so in this day and age we've got prop firms like we always mention uh with the prop firm you can simply get a free trial account of an account which you wish to trade or a free trial account size of an account uh, which you know you can uh afford to purchase right so i think props range from as low as like 39 or 40 dollars and that can get you um I know $39 can get you an account, a $5,000 account with a certain profit. Um, some props with about $60, you can get uh, a 10K account, 10,000, which is five figures. Then you can uh, trade these accounts. Uh, you 
use proper res and you perfect your skill before you even get to the live account. So the, the free trials are like, like they mentioned, they are free. You don't have to put any money. But when you are ready, then you can invest a small amount. Uh, check out if your strategy is working. Uh, then if you pass, you get withdrawals. You can fund your own account as well. So that's just a suggestion of what you can do. Uh, then in conclusion, congratulations if you've made it to this point. This is a sign that you are hungry enough to succeed in this business. I have provided you with the most powerful price action strategies that you can use for the rest of your life to make money trading in the financial markets. Your success as a trader has nothing to do with your education background. You can be a doctor, a lawyer, or a physician, a uh, scientist. If you don't follow the rules, you end up blowing your entire trading account. Trading is like learning a new skill. You must be ready to put in the time and effort. Let me give you an example. If you want to get a degree from a university, you have to spend at least three years. Right? You wake up every morning, you study hard, you follow up with your classes, and if you're enough, if you're serious enough and disciplined, you get your degree. The same thing when it comes to trading. If you are disciplined enough and you put in time and effort to learn, you will acquire a skill to feed yourself and your family for the rest of your life. You will get your financial freedom, so you will never think of a day job. Some traders spend more than 10 years to find a winning strategy and become profitable. Others spend 20 years without results. Fortunately, this will not be the case with you because you have the map, you have the strategy. You will not spend years trying to try different indicators and strategies. You have everything you need here. What you need is time to master these strategies. So give yourself some time, spend as much time as you can to learn because this is the only way to succeed in this business. Over time, you will develop these trading strategies because you over time you will develop these trading strategies because you will determine what works for you and what doesn't work. Keep practicing and learning from your mistakes. Don't think in terms of making money. Don't think in terms of making money as fast as possible. Think in terms of becoming an expert of what you do and then money will follow you wherever you are. Good luck. So I think this is it with this book, 168. We are done with the Candlestick Trading Bible. One of the best trading books I've read, one of the best trading books I've come across. So just to confirm with the lot sizes again before we finish this uh this you can try with a demo account see how those load sizes work uh pair different pips maybe on another session we'll do a session on how to calculate pips but i think if you're reading this book then at least you should know if, if, a few basics of how to calculate your pips but if not let me know in the comment section, then I will do a video uh, showing how to calculate your pips on MT4, MT5, or manually. Um, and I hope that will help. So if you're using 0 0.10 in the price moves, 10 pips, uh, that's a $1 gain or loss, depending on the direction. When using 1.10 times 10 pips load size, uh that's a ten dollar whether you're on the winning side or the losing side when you're using one standard load size times 10 pips uh that's a hundred dollars so usually when we trade if you are day trading we usually targets it's an average of 50 pips so if you're in a trade and the trade can pay you about 30 to 50 pips on a, a risk on a risk of, uh, let's say, 15 pips. So at least you're getting one is to two. If you risk 15 uh, to make 30, already you're on a one is to two risk to reward ratio, right? When you get 50, you're already on a one is to three. So usually that's the average target if you are day trading. Then swing traders can always aim for more because they can sometimes have stop losses of about 50 pips and they usually aim for 150 pips plus. Sometimes you can even get 500 pips depending on what you're trading. So this is just like the basics. So if you guys want another lesson maybe on how to calculate these loads on, uh, 
on empty you know let me actually squeeze it in now uh let's go to empty mt4 so this is mt4 this is nasdaq i'm going to pick euro usd just to keep it simple so if you are on the mt4 platform uh, like this one let me just see if these um you now just use the normal chart we've been using because i've got different templates uh we Spawned back to EU. All right, so EU, we're just going to look at an example just on the current market price today. Or maybe let's look now, nah, let's look at the current market price today so that we don't get confused. So I'm just going to say, let's say we're taking our trade from here. Let's say we've got confluences to buy here. And uh, our stop loss is below this range. So we want to calculate what is the stop loss, right? So if you want to calculate your stop loss on MT4 or MT5, what you would do is you want to press uh, your crosshair, uh, this crosshair item on the top there. Once you go to that crosshair, you... Uh, left click it once so now you can see when I move my case so you can see it's coming with the crosshair right our entry was right here so you left click on your mouse and uh, long press it all the way down so if you drag it all the way down you will see the saying 35 so this 35 is not 35 pips this is 35 points it becomes um Let's see. Okay, let me see on the other side. Okay, a hundred. Going to the upside. Okay, so this is a risk of 35 points, right? That means for this trade to be profitable, we need double the points or double the pips. So if you push it all the way up, there is 70 right here. So this 70 is not 70 pips, it's seven pips. How to explain this? I don't really have the right words to explain it, but I think the best book which explains this will be Baby Pips, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think this will have to be another video because I need to get the right wording to explain how these pips are calculated because each asset, if you drag it like this, it's almost different. So when it says a hundred here, that means it's 10 pips. The reason why I say it's 10 pips, you will see that here there is a number to the right hand side, right? Which is 1.08506. Then at 100 points, we've got a number which is 1.08606. So if you subtract 1.08606 uh, minus 1.08506, you get 100 points, which is 10 pips. There is one decimal figure on this particular asset which you need to put. Uh, into consideration, right? So I don't know if this is making sense. I know it's a bit confusing because I even struggle to explain it. Uh, let me try to pull up another example. Let's go to EU on trading view. Let's do this. Um, okay, so if you're on trading view, now it's a bit different. You come to this. There is an uh, item like a ruler there. Uh, okay, how do I do this now? Okay, there it is. So here you see your ruler item. Uh, that's the item you use to measure your pips. So again, you want to come and you want to... Okay, I don't know what happened to my... I can't delete this, but anyways. Okay, from the entry, our risk, we said it's what's... So trading, if you sort of calculate it properly, you see there's the decimal figure there. 10.1 or 10 pips there, then your risk is 3 pips or 3.5 pips. Trading view would be uh, the best to use for calculating pips because it gives you the exact value. There is 10.1. If you're on MT4, it shows you 100, but you should uh, consider one decimal figure. So let me open something like... Um, 
let's see BTC USD. See how they calculated here. Then on other assets like this, like the 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 cryptos, there's so much movement here, so much uh difference in dollar changes in terms of price, right? So that dollar change in terms of price from here to here, you see that the way they're calculating already is like 45,600. It becomes a bit hard because you're still on M, M15, uh, but as long as you know your risk to reward, let me just put it that way. If you map out your risk to reward, let's say you're looking to sell and you sell here and you calculate one is to two, right? Uh, you drag it down. How you calculate one is to two, or let's say one is to three. Again, trading view is the best in terms of calculating this risk because it shows you the value. It writes risk to reward three. So this is one is to three. We're risking one to make three. If it's 3.5, you see the exact value. So I would say if you don't have trading view, make sure you download trading view. Uh, so that you can calculate your risk to reward and your pips. Uh, that's the easiest platform you can use. If you're only using MT4, I would still advise you to get a trading view. So you map out your setup here. You know where you're putting your stop loss. You know it's one is to three. Uh, then you take your trade on uh, MT4 or whatever platform you use. But again, you still need to know the pip value. So let's keep that session. Well, let's make this session another session for another day because there's actually a lot of aspects which need to be explained in greater detail so that they can be understood. So I hope uh, this session or I hope this book uh, has been um, a success. I hope this book helps you guys. I'm just trying to remove what I wrote here. I don't know what happened to that thing. But anyways, oh, oh there it is. It's on the bottom of shit. Okay. All right. So I hope this book was helpful for everybody who went through it. If you watched all the videos from the first until the last, I wish you knew nothing but success uh, in your trading journey. If there is a chapter or a page or a topic you don't understand, please write through in the comments. Then I'll still do the videos and still post them under this playlist as extras or as extra explanations. So if you have a question or a certain part you don't understand, make sure you jot it down in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. Uh, if there is a book which you are currently going through and you would like us to go through it, uh, just like we did on this book with uh, live chat examples, please write it in the comment section as well. If I've gone through the book already, I'll just jump into it and we'll start doing it. If I haven't read that particular book, I'll just go through it quickly, then I'll start doing videos on it as well. So... I think that's all from me, guys. Today's session was shorter than the previous. We've rounded up the book successfully. All those who pushed me to finish this book, thank you, thank you so much. So again, don't just read a book and uh, throw it away. You should read it the first time, read it the second time, take notes. The third time, usually the third time when you read a book, some everything starts to make sense. So don't just read a book the first time and throw it away. Make sure you read it multiple times uh, so that the, the, the major points start sticking out in your trading journey improves. So that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to write in the comment section if you've got a trading book you want us to go through, which we can read and look at the charts. Uh, please write it in the comment section. If this book was helpful, give us your, your response as well. Uh, if you've got your favorite book besides this, also share with us, give us the author and the title in the comment section and we'll, the others will also learn from those books as well. So thank you so much, guys, for making time. Stay blessed. I'm wishing you always successful trading journey. Good trading.